Welcome back to Cypress Avenue for Winter Song, the streaming event that we're currently carrying out. So I'm here with Gerald O'Hara and I'm about to see you guys for the first time, which is super exciting. You've obviously done quite a bit during lockdown, so you set up your own studio. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about your experience in the marquee as well, because that's really interesting. And obviously your new member and how that fits in. So how are you guys feeling today? Very right. good. Very good. Yeah. yeah, very good. It's nice um, to sit down and play music again. <laughs> Definitely. And it's so good to be able to have people in the venue. So I know it's not the normal circumstances, but like appreciating the crew and the fact that we're able to use such an incredibly well lit up stage mm -hmm. and the sound is going to be flawless, I'm sure. It's brilliant. And even being on a stage, because like we can practice all we want, right? But it's not the same. So even no, if it's no. empty, it's great to be able to invite people into the venue, you know? I know my favorite thing I missed is hearing a, a sound check from drums and feeling that <laughs> top in your chest. But um, it's brilliant to have it here in Cypress Avenue because every release for an album we've had every single release we we tried to make it our business when we did start off to kind of play here every six months and um even they've always looked after us with her so it is a home away from home and it's an amazing place to especially since that we had the, the renovation we had the renovation here it's just even 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 better again yeah yeah, and loads of people are commenting on how they can finally see the floor and it's made out of wood, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that it's, you know, kind of a different way of seeing it. Oh, it's always black with people, like, it's, it's so yeah, nice and shiny floor. <laughs> now, we're talking about, obviously, performances, and you did play the marquee, so talk to me about how that felt as a band to be able to be given that honour. Yeah, um, so we're we we're, we're young we grew some facial hair over lockdown but uh, <laughs> so how that all started was so i think it was a while back um the academic did a surprise uh, gig for adam when he was mm. in school uh in sixth year just for me just for <laughs> but, uh, in school. so then they announced after that that they were doing uh, a battle of bands for who would support them at this gig uh, and the criteria was that one member had to be in school still so we were the we, we um, competed, I suppose, so we put our best songs forward and ended our hardest and, and we, we won that. I remember how stressful it was listening to the radio that day. We were actually coming yeah. down from Dublin. Yeah. So we, did, we couldn't yeah. listen to Cork Radio Station. Yeah, and so we were like 20 seconds behind um, listening to radio. <laughs> and we were coming down from recording Home and Five, which we were going to play for you first. And I vomited. Um, <laughs> I uh, I just remember the atmosphere was just, I, I think we were crying, oh, vomiting, <laughs> happiness, everything in, in the one, but um, it was a magical experience. To, when uh, you broke the windows in the van with the Rory out of us. <laughs> and Joe was sitting in the front and somehow ended up in the back and like that. Just, <laughs> just up on top of me and like, back the back like, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, but like that excitement is just something so surreal that you're finally going from, oh, we're this young band to, oh my goodness, we're actually, yeah. you know, supporting in the yeah. marquee, which is incredible. I think some of it was the work we put into it as well, though. Do you know of what course. I mean? Like we've been playing together for a long time and we wanted to, you know, play bigger stage, play with, you know, with someone like the academic, I guess. Mm. It's, it's, it's a cool experience to go up there and you know hang out with them backstage and then mm. go up and you know no they're sitting back there listening to you while you're going up it's kind of it's a cool feeling like yeah and now you've also got a brand new member so labis obviously is from greece and his family are no doubt going to be tuning in so you're having an international launch guys yeah. this, is, this is brilliant and welcome anyway to the band I, you're doing amazing and you also set up your own studio so tell me the name of the studio and what that's been like and what you've been doing there so i actually built it at my home and when it was being built uh, my mother always said that i'll never see you again you'll always be in the man shed or the man cave and i remember interrupting saying no we won't leave that happen we'll have to make girls night in there sometime and call it the lady shed or so and and um my mum passed away over lockdown, so we call it Lady Shed Studios. And um, yeah, it was it was absolutely it was the to toughest day of my entire life. And um, but ever since we did have a fully set, it, it was only kind of fully up and running in August. Um, and now the lads, uh, we've recorded definitely twenty songs mm. demos there now so far. Uh, some that you'll hear today. Uh, uh, Wrong is one of them, and um, another one is called Show Me Your Friends. But the, we just, we'd finish work or college or whatever is going on and not arrive in there until 12 a.m. and not get to bed until the next day. But um, I think when we do look back on these finished products, it will probably be one of the, something that would, would 
have great memories doing, you know what I mean? Even though we're exhausted and we love it, do you know what I mean? It's, it's um, making something and being proud to go back and look at that again, uh, um, yeah. Hey look, and I'm sure your mum's dead proud of your shed and everything you're doing. So well done guys, and I cannot wait to see you perform tonight. And everyone at home, thank you for tuning in to our streams once more. Screaming out, you were 
whisper and I shout Can you hear me screaming out? Oh yeah, you whisper and I shout Can you hear me screaming out? Oh yeah, you whisper and I shout Talking to the ghost of you Talking to the ghost of you Yeah, I'm talking to the ghost of you Talking to the ghost of you I'm talking to the ghost of your picture still hangs on my bed. I decided to talk to that instead. Oh, what a shame. You don't feel the same. Hey! And I just seen you for the very last time. You couldn't look at me. I died inside. Oh, it's so fast. Is the past. You whisper and I shout, can you hear me screaming out? You whisper and I shout, can you hear me screaming out? Yeah, you whisper and I shout, can you hear me screaming out? Yeah, you whisper and I shout. Talking to the ghost of hey. Talking to the ghost of you. Talking to the ghost of you. You came and you built me tall, then you knock me like nothing at all. You came and you built me tall, then you knock me like nothing at all. You came and you built me tall, then you knock me like nothing at all. You came and you built me tall, then you knock me like nothing at all. Let's go!
Okay, this one is for Sean and his grandfather that built the fish in the sky.
This is um, a song I wrote over uh, lockdown. It's probably one of my favorite songs to date. I hope you enjoy. It's called Wrong. Until you're sober 